It's about 8.30 in the evening now. Uh, these young hives I've given syrup to. Also given syrup to the established colonies because uh, I don't want them attacking the young ones because they can smell honey or syrup which they take uh, from the weakest and it's a fight for survival. So on this particular one, the end one, lots of activity. That's an empty one. My, my queen didn't actually survive in that hive, the one that we put in, me and Elvira. And this seems to be fairly strongish. And this was strongish. Not a problem with this one by the looks of it. Seems to be doing things by the book. Then we come to the established ones. And uh, at the moment, not doing anything that I would consider something to worry about overnight. And then my hive that I was doing the uh, video demonstrations on for the blog. Put it there so you can see it. Followed by a very strong hive. There is consensus of opinion that you shouldn't have two similar colours next to each other because it confuses them. But come on, you know, they've travelled thousands of miles to get this far. And, and they know where they are. They, they won't even leave the hive before they've actually done a figure of eight loop and, and got their position on the first ever time they leave. They never do it again. They only do it once and then they know where they are. So if you move the hive, by more than half a metre it can cause absolute panic because they've locked it into their system and they'll fly back sometimes into a hostile hive uh, by mistake they're seen as a raider and they're stung to death okay let's have a look at Big Bri And there's the waterfall down there. I'll take you and show it, the Duman. Yeah. Just above that terracotta roof is the spring that comes out of the Duman. Beautiful.